Do it. Hi, my name is Lyndon John Hathaway. I'm the member of the West Side Church of Christ and owns Brooklyn, Texas. Hi, I'm Brandon Hathaway, and I'm the preacher at the West Side Church of Christ, the Nolan's Brook, Kentucky. And this is my man, hey, John Lyndon John. And so we want to thank you for joining us as we study the Word of God. We're in Jeremiah chapter 14. Can you say Jeremiah? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And so chapter 14, and we're going to look at verses 13 and 14 for today. It says, but, or 13 through 16, sorry. 13 through 16. It says, But, ah, Lord God, I said, Look, the prophets are telling them, You will not see the sword, nor will you have a famine, but I will give you a lasting peace in this place. Then the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying falsehood in my name. I have neither sent them, nor commanded them, nor spoken to them. They are prophesying to you a false vision, dimension, futility, and deception of their own minds. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who are prophesying in my name, although it was not I who sent them, yet they keep saying they will be no, there will be no sword or famine in this land. By sword and famine, those prophets shall meet their end. The people also to whom they are prophesying will be thrown out into the streets of Jerusalem, because of the famine and the sword, and there will be no one to bury them, neither them, nor their wives, nor their sons, nor their wit, their daughters, for I will pour out their own wickedness on them. And so as we take a look at these verses here, he says, but look, look at the, the, the prophets. The prophets are saying, what are they saying? They're saying, oh, everything's okay. No famine's going to hurt you. No sword will come up against you. You're okay. And they were prophesying in the name of the Lord. This goes back to, <clears throat> or goes forward to, if we're looking at it in a correct way, to Matthew, or the, the Gospels and our Lord, where he says, Not many will say unto me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders? And so they're prophesying in the name of God, but it's not the truth. It's not what God had commanded them to do. It's not what God wants them to prophesy. And so therefore, they were going to fall into the famine, and they would fall by the sword. But also note, as it brings out in verse 16, it says, The people also whom they are prophesying will be thrown out in the streets of Jerusalem. All right? And so it's not just the prophets, but those who accept false prophets. We have our own responsibility to test all to see whether they are in the faith. When someone comes along and proclaims to be teaching the truth, we ask questions and we search the scriptures to make sure the truth is being taught. Plus, we get caught up in saying we are doing stuff in the name of the Lord also, but it's incorrectly. We need to make sure that we're always doing it the way and teaching the way in which the Lord has commanded us to do. I want to thank you for joining us. I hope you have a blessed day. And as always, if the Lord's willing, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.